Hello gamers! For those of you who are looking forward to Fallout 4, I have some exciting news for you. It was just announced during E3 that Fallout 4 will be released later this year, and in the meantime they have released Fallout Shelter, which is an app available for iOS currently, it'll be coming to Android soon. It was released as soon as the panel ended at E3, so I thought I'd jump into the game and get you started with some tips and tricks on how to play, because it is a little tricky. Now I went with Vault 212 because it felt like a lucky number that was randomly assigned to me. And this game is a simulator, so you're going to have a lot of characters that you're controlling. You can send them to explore the wastelands, recruit new characters, or they can even have babies. You can upgrade their rooms and let them live in swag and style. Let's take a look at what the gameplay is like. So the game does have helpful hints to walk you through it, although I didn't find them super helpful because there were still some things that were confusing, so I'll help you with those. Right now we're taking a look at the stats of our first survivor that we're going to be helping, Alexander Peterson. You can see when you tap on special it shows the exact stats and you can sign the, assign them to the appropriate room accordingly. In this case, S happens to work well in the power room. Strength is the main attribute there. Now it's important to assign people with the right attributes to the right rooms because it will make them the happiest and it'll also help you produce the most resources. If you mess this up at first, it's okay. You can go back and drag them to another room later by just picking them up and dragging them to the room where you want to assign them. You can double tap a room to zoom in and spy on their conversations. In this case, it looks like we want a little bit of help with a crossword puzzle. You can fast forward to get your resources quicker. There is a little bit of risk and reward to this. The game will let you know how much risk there is and if it fails, then you're gonna have a disaster on your hands that you have to clean up. I'll show you what that looks like later. Here we're building some more rooms. You can put two rooms of the same type side by side to expand them. You can keep this in mind when you're building your first vault. And if you mess up on your first vault like I did, you can always create a second one and start over once you get a hang of how the game works better. The game starts you out with a bunch of survivors to get assigned to different rooms. Here you can check each of their individual stats and try to make sure you're assigning them to the most appropriate places. Again, just tap on where it says special You'll see strength, perception, uh, charisma, all of them stand for different things and go in different places. Big tip, agility is great for the diner. I had issues with my first playthrough running out of food and everyone was gradually getting unhappy and it took forever to catch back up so I would really recommend paying attention to the diner. And as resources are ready, you can just tap to collect them. Now I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the diner because I know that it tends to be a weak spot in the game and I would encourage you to do so as well. So we just went ahead and gave the diner an upgrade which just allows it to produce even more resources without taking up more space. The more you upgrade, the more it is going to cost for each additional upgrade, so keep that in mind. You can also tap on the upper left hand corner to get an overview of all of your survivors or dwellers as the game calls them, so if you choose to reassign them to different rooms like I did here based on their abilities you can do that easily and see everything at a glance now here I assigned two dwellers together in hopes of them making a baby and it looks like they're doing pretty well Rare. <laughs> now the game will give you objectives to complete now I'm not ready for them to have a baby yet so I'm gonna go ahead and send the guy out for some exploration glad he doesn't think it's too bad that I just rained on his parade and by doing so we were able to claim a reward for completing our objective now the game gives you objectives which can reward you in caps or in lunch boxes and the lunch boxes you can also buy of course to expedite how quickly you progress through the game did you really think this game wasn't gonna have some pay to win in it but I have been playing the game for about an hour and a half and I haven't felt the need to pay to advance so if that's any indicator for you you can definitely get some good play time out of this now while your dweller is exploring you will want to check on him to recall him if he starts getting injured because he will especially if you send him out equipped without weapons. You can also level up your individual dwellers. 
and there's a couple of ways for them to get experience. They either get experience just throughout doing their work and producing resources, or if you go to rush their job and a disaster does strike, they get experience for fighting that disaster as well. Now this part is fun, it's like an unboxing. Let's see what was in our lunchbox that we won. A pistol, a stim pack, which can help them recover health, some caps, and oh, something rare, heavy merc gear. Now we can equip this outfit and it'll increase the stats you see on the bottom. Perception, agility, and luck. I can tell you this is going to go on someone in the diner so that we can get more food resources because of their luck and for the agility. Now let's check on Ronald. We've left him out for a while. By tapping on exploring, we can see that he's still exploring and it hasn't been very eventful. Hopefully he hasn't just been sitting on his butt having a picnic somewhere. Emily is probably wondering where her man is at. Checking back on Ronald now, you could see that he saw a hideous little mole rat and that rat has chewed through his shoes. So he is suffering damage. I have not experimented with leaving a dweller out while they are receiving damage, so I recalled him. If you've tried leaving them out, leave a comment below to let us know how it turned out. And you could see as a result of his expedition, he found more dwellers for our base. It's always a good idea to double tap on the rooms or pinch and zoom and see how everyone's doing. Here we can see that everyone is very happy. You want to check for those smiles and make sure that no one's unhappy. Pro tip, if someone is unhappy, you can actually watch their dialogue to see what would make them more happy so that you can help increase their happiness. Now here's an example of a failed rush so you can see what happens. Here we have what is known as a disaster. And we have giant cockroaches that we can't seem to kill. I have tried many times, it doesn't seem that there's a way to kill it yourself, so you just have to wait for your derpy dwellers to kill it for you. But when they do, you will be rewarded with XP for trusting your little derp dwellers. Here we have two women living together. It appears this game does not embrace lesbians because they will not be able to have babies. I suppose in the fallout, there is no adoption center. And here, Alexander Peterson has been attacked by yet another mole rat. Let's hope he doesn't lose his foot. At this point in the game, we're getting so many dwellers, I don't even know what to do with them. I'm putting all the women in a room and locking them up because things are getting crazy. And here's the biggest tip of all, finding the help menu. It actually took me a while to get to. You have to tap help precisely for it to open up, but this will give you all the information that you couldn't find in the tutorial, minus the little niggly bits like focus on a diner first because you don't want to run out of food because you'll spend an hour trying to catch back up. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe and comment below if you would like to see more tips and tricks for Fallout Shelter. We are just scratching the surface here. Let me know your experiences with the game down below and if you're excited for Fallout 4. I will see you in the next episode.